John Jones celebrates his win and backstage with a push-up contest against the wrestler Zion Klar. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I know you don't want to hit that push-up competition. I know you don't want to hit that push-up competition. I know you don't want to hit it. I know you don't want to hit it. I know you don't want to hit it. Alright, we're going to do one tip and tap. Alright. Alright. John Jones' family celebrating the win. What was going on with the tape on your toes? They looked like they were cutting it off before you were getting in there? Yeah, so uh, I used a different tape. I usually use a, a certain brand of tape. I'll give them a shout out, War Tape. And um, I feel like it's just a lot stickier. I, I used the UFC's tape tonight and as soon as my body started to sweat, the tape was sliding all over the place. And uh, so I, I made like a, almost like a little cast around my toe that linked down to the middle of my foot uh, so that the, the tape wouldn't slide off the, my, my, uh, my toes. And when I got out there, the commission was just like, you can't tape your feet. And I'm like, dude, I've always taped my feet. I'm not gonna compete if I can't tape my toes. I just won't do it. I want everyone to know that for the future. Um, so thank God we didn't have a disaster out there tonight. But um, they, they ended up changing the tone a little bit. They allowed me to keep my toes tape and they had made me take the rest of the tape off the rest of my foot. And um, it, was, it was a nice little distraction going into the fight. One thing about my job is that it throws curveballs, and we gotta be able to think on the fly, and we gotta be able to improvise. And so I just stay calm. I just admit, you know, as you said, John, it's nothing much. Just stay cool, keep your head in the game. And uh, we got the tape off the rest of my foot, and I was able to go out there and proceed and to the mission. John, uh, to your left. Um, we, you know, you've always been a popular fighter, but it seems like this week you've gone to another level, right? The press conference, I know you really enjoyed that, the way the crowd reacted to you. What was it like tonight? You know, you kind of got the biggest pop of all when you got in the cage, the place went nuts. And, you know, a lot of times you've been the bad guy, right? Now you were the good guy and everybody was happy to see you. What, is, what did that feel like for you? It, you know, when, when I first got into the UFC, I, I would talk about God a lot and, and wanting to be a good person. And... Um, and then people got to see that my life wasn't perfect, that I make mistakes, and that I sin, and that I, I fall down. And um, I think for a long time, people looked at me as just an incredibly fake individual. And I think as of right now, I think people can just see that I'm a human, that I do love God, but I'm a human. And uh, Christians aren't perfect. And I just think I'm more relatable to people than I've ever been. And, um, you know, despite how many times I mess up, I, I do try to stand for good and something that's bigger than me. And um, I just think there's a, there's a relatability that I have with people where either you absolutely hate me or, you, or you're just learning to understand the man that I am. And I, think it's, I, th I just think it's going over well for me. Actor Jake Gyllenhaal scores knockout by flying knee at UFC 285 for movie Roundhouse.
got to start with the main event, right? Yeah. John Jones closed the show in style. I guess what can you say about his performance to move holy up to heavyweight shit, I mean, three holy years shit. away? I, did, listen, anybody deny this guy is the GOAT anymore? I, I don't think anybody would deny it. Um, not only is he the greatest light heavyweight ever, he looks like the greatest heavyweight ever too. So, um, I mean, th there were a couple of interviews leading up to this fight where he was saying, I'm going to make this look easy. And I thought that was a silly thing to say. Um, the guy is unfucking believable, man. He really is. I never forget when he claimed the light heavyweight title that you kind of mentioned at the time. You were a little worried about him and how he was going to be in his career and what was going to happen. What do you think now that he's your heavyweight champion? I mean, do you feel like he's a, a new guy at this point or you still have concerns about what well, happens? You know, let, let's just put it this way. I, I mean, John Jones... There's no doubt that John Jones is special. He's, he's the greatest of all time. He's undefeated. He's never lost a fight ever in the UFC. He's fought all the best competition out there. But dealing with him is like dealing with an artist is the best way to explain it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out. You know, I, uh, I'm just happy we got to see what we saw tonight. It just... Um, and many of us that have been in the game for a long time, some of you might disagree, some of you might agree, I'm a big believer in ring rust and, and what it does. To, we didn't even get to see any ring rust. Who knows if there was any ring rust tonight? He just went in there and literally made it look like nothing, like it was the easiest thing in the world for him to do. He's a total freak of nature, and he's the best ever. Joe Rogan brought up the idea of uh, Stipe at International Fight Week. Uh, is that something that you guys have kicked around, or do you feel like that could be the, the plan? I don't know when, but he's definitely fighting Stipe. Hey, Dana, to your left. I, you know, you and I have talked a long time about how good John would have been if he didn't get in all that trouble or anything. Now that you see him, even though he's older now than he was before, do you think he can be even better as a heavyweight than he was as a light heavyweight? I don't, I don't think that you and I ever really argued about how good he could be. He was. He, he is. He's always been the great. I, I mean, through all the things that me and Jones have been through, you know, in both of our careers here, um, I've never n denied that this guy's the best ever. The question is, how big would he be right now? Of a, when, and I say, I mean, you see, he's got the biggest heavyweight fight of all time, one of the top gross. Uh, Eric was just telling me tonight, this is going to be one of the biggest social media events we've ever done. Et cetera, et cetera. The question is, this guy should have, he should be on Nike commercials. He should be, those are the things when you talk about how big and how great John Jones could have been had he not had the personal problems. Um, those are the questions that, that we'll never know.